Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum friends in this video I am going to show you how to design a electric motor in solid works so keep watching this video till end before going further let me introduce you to my youtube channel solid works tutorials and engineering news where you will find huge quantity of videos regarding solid works and engineering so please don't forget to press subscribe button and this bell icon for all upcoming video notification let's start first of all we have to make a stator so for that click on this new button and then double click on part from here click on front plane and then sketch on it draw two circles and define them by smart dimensions this diameter is 30 millimeter and this diameter is 60 millimeter now go to features tab and select extruded boss base command and extrude it up to 60 millimeter press ok button now click on this face and then sketch on it make normal to by pressing this button or control plus 8 key from your keyboard and draw a rectangle like this now define it this dimension is 2 millimeter now select a point and drop it on this quadrant now define again the distance from this point to this line is also 2 millimeter press escape button then press and hold control key from your keyboard and select this midpoint and then select this origin make their relation vertical now go to features tab and apply extruded cut command cut it from throughout and press ok button now click on this arrow below the linear pattern button and select circular pattern and then drop down these options from here select extruded cut click on this box for pattern axis and then select this circular edge quantity is 50 press ok button so rotor is ready save it now click on this new button again and start from a new part at this time I am going to design or draw a shaft click on front plane and then sketch now draw a sketch by using line command and start it from origin Now define it by using smart dimensions. So diameter of this length is 12 mm so the radius is 6 mm. This is the bearing size which is 1.5 mm so the radius for this size is 7.5 mm. This radius is 1.0 mm and at the end this radius is 1.5 mm now press and hold control key from your keyboard and select both of these lines make their relation equal and collinear similarly select these lines make their relation equal and collinear also for these lines it is equal and collinear now define the length this is the bearing size so its length is 10 millimeter define this length which is 30 millimeter (coughs) 
also define this length which is 20 mm and this length is 60 mm so this is the sketch which is fully defined at the moment now go to features tab and then apply a revolved boss base command to it select this line as axis of revolution and press ok button this is the shaft save it now start from a new part again and this time we are going to design a bearing so click on front plane and then draw a center line start it from origin now draw a line and we need one more rectangle click on this line and make it vertical now select both of these lines make their relation equal and collinear similarly select all these four lines make their relation equal now define them by using smart dimensions this diameter is 15 mm it will be the bore of the bearing or inner diameter and this diameter of the bearing is 30 or 35 mm this length is 10 mm and this length is 3 mm now draw a center line and start from this midpoint to this midpoint and then draw a circle start it from origin now define the diameter of this circle it is 8 mm select this command trim entities and trim these extra lines press okay button go to features tab and then select revolved bow space command select this line as axis of revolution and press okay button click on front plane again and then sketch on it make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key from your keyboard then change the shade and draw a circle on this origin define it 8 mm is the diameter of this circle and then draw a line start it from this quadrant to this quadrant now trim this side of the circle press okay button and go to feature tab again select revolved boss base command at this time select this line as axis of revolution and press okay button now change the shade once again so here is the ball now click on this arrow in below the linear pattern button and uh, then select circular pattern click on this box and then select this circular edge quantity is 9 press okay button so uh, it is showing an error only merging feature may be patterned so for that scroll down and then click on this box bodies 